Hey ladies and gents, I'm out here doing my walk. Sorry if you hear my keys jingling. Um, but I just want to come on and just do a motivation video. And I just also want to testify of the goodness of God and what he's doing. So there's so many things this year that I'm doing that last year I couldn't do um, or I struggled a lot to do. And I think I talked about this in another video where when you when you allow your faith to increase, when you put a demand on your faith, God is going to move according to your faith. So y'all know I'm not a morning person, but I've been getting up at like 630 in the morning because that was something that was an area that was really, really, really difficult for me. But I said, God, I really want to start turning that around. And I know what the doctors are saying and I know what the medication side effects are, but God, I believe that you're my God, that this disability does not own me. And I'm going to have the faith and I'm going to believe by faith that you're going to meet me here. And so as I just been uh, walking with the Lord, y'all, I'm doing my walk. But as I'm just walking with the Lord, I'm seeing how he's strengthening me. I'm seeing how he's giving me the ability to overcome. I have already walked, I think, today about 30 minutes. Um, I already did my... I call it my rounds from each one, but um, last year I couldn't do this. Uh, last year, I really, really struggled with my mobility to the point where I had to use a cane, I had to use a walker, um, just even getting, you know, from my car to my front door, which was probably less than 50 feet away, 30 feet away was difficult for me. So for me to be doing cartwheels and to be out here, doing my rounds, doing my walks. Y'all, it feels good. And I just want to testify of the goodness of God and that if you're in a place where you feel like you're not breaking through, you feel like, okay, I've been struggling with this thing. I've been uh, going through this battle and I there's it seems like I can't get through, I can't win. I want to encourage you to be able to speak life over yourself. Start declaring those things as though they're not as though they are. Start walking by faith. Start speaking what you want to see. And those were the moments I had to speak life and healing into my body. Those were the moments that I had to say, God, I thank you that you're giving me clarity of mind. I thank you, Lord, for giving me supernatural focus. I thank you, Lord, for giving my body the strength and the stamina that it needs. Um, I remember last year, um, I kept having fainting spells and it was very, very hard for me to keep my balance. Uh, I still kind of am a little clumsy because one leg a little bit longer than the other, but I still have supernatural faith that God is going to grow that leg just to the amount that it needs so that both are balanced. And so um, when you're a believer and you walk by faith, you walk in signs, miracles, and wonders. These are the signs that shall follow those that believe. And so you will be able to see when you start speaking faith, when you start believing what the word of God says. Yes, do I have challenges? Absolutely. But my challenges do not own me. Yes, it may, it may be difficult for me uh, to do things than the typical person. But guess what? This is an opportunity for my faith to be stretched. This is an opportunity for me to... Uh, grow in my perseverance and my tenacity and strategy because if I can't do it like everybody else that means I have to come up with a way to do it differently and so learning to be strategic learning okay when I hit the first wall or the first door that closes are you going to give up are you going to give in are you going to say this is too hard God I can't do it are you going to look at that mountain and declare to that mountain who your, who your God is and declare to that mountain to be moved in the name of Jesus. And it shall be moved. Faith as small as a mustard seed. Scripture says, faith as small as a mustard seed. And so I just want to testify of the goodness of God and what he's doing. And where I was last year um, and where I am today, the things that I'm able to do god has given me supernatural ability and i feel like he's not done yet i feel like this is just the very beginning of what he's doing 
And in those moments, in those hard moments, in those see nothing seasons, I had to declare and speak life. I had to declare not what I saw, not grumble and complain, because sometimes we grumble and complain, but I had to speak to that hard thing. And I had to declare to my body what it was by faith that I wanted to see, because we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. We can do all things through those. Um, we can do all things from him who gives us strength. So I want to come out. I want to encourage you. Don't give up. Don't give in. Keep pressing through because your breakthrough is already here. Your breakthrough, I just want you to just, whatever that place is, whatever that place is that is hard, whatever that uh, place is, I want you to name it breakthrough. Your bank account, name it breakthrough. One time I did that, I put it in the nickname of my bank account. This bank account is called Breakthrough. Come on, somebody. Whatever it is, that uh, legal case that you're going through, breakthrough. That uh, health challenge that you're struggling with, breakthrough. That business that you're trying to um, develop, but it's been kind of hard because maybe you don't have all the resources and, and you don't have all the right connections, breakthrough. Breakthrough. We declare it and we decree it. Scripture tells us that you shall decree a thing. You should declare and decree a thing and it ought to be established. And so we have to remember that our words create worlds. Dr. Alexis would always say this, our, word, our words create worlds. And so we have to live in the supernatural realm of breakthrough. God is increasing our capacity. And so as he's increasing our capacity, uh, you're gonna be stretched. There are gonna be things that are gonna be uncomfortable. But when God increases your capacity, trust that he's taking you to a territory that you've never been. Trust that when God is increasing your capacity, there are, when there are new levels, there are going to be new devils, right? But believe by the Spirit of God that you have it, that it's yours. In the name of Jesus. Yes and amen. His promises are yes and amen. Declare it over that situation. Yes and amen.